Okay, so I've put a microphone right here. I want to take this for a quick spin and see if I can get a sound clip of what the turbo sounds like because it comes on so fast. It makes such a cool whistle, so hopefully the audio will pick up. So let's go for a ride. So this car's got pretty dirty after driving it. We've obviously had a full detail and ceramic coat, but I've done probably 100 miles of driving and ran it pretty good. So we're gonna give this a quick clean. Use now our pressure washing system so much easier. Notice how the pressure washer isn't running in the background. Everything's quiet until you need it. See how quiet it is out here? Hey Siri, what's the date? It's Thursday, October 4th, 2018. And it is 81 degrees here. This is the closest thing we have to snow. Did you guess? Probably not. No, nobody knows who he is. If they do now. So, we have been talking back and forth before the car even came, and you basically flew in to come and meet us. Yep. And talk to us about it and basically make sure that, yep. you know, we are going to do what we look like we do on YouTube. Yep. And I won't give you an name away, but you do comment on YouTube a lot. So, all too frequently, yes. Some actually. people might <laughs> see the name and go, is that the owner? I'm not going to say his name, but. He does comment in some of the videos, so yeah. let's go see the car. Excellent. Are you ready? Absolutely. <laughs> let's do this. Ah, oh, that is so sweet. Yeah. Does it look as good as it does on film? Nah, it looks better. It looks way better. Ah, oh, that is so sweet. This is fantastic. Everyone already knows that, but. Yeah, it's, it's better in person. But this is like a new car, John. Yeah, almost every single thing apart from the actual body is being changed. I mean, apart from the dash on the carpet. Yeah. Everything has been taken off, is being replaced with new. Can go straight across there, and we'll just do a couple of circles. It's like you barely touch the gas and you can hear the turbo is ready to go. The oil is still cold. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll just do a couple of circles until we get some temperature in it. the fuck. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we have someone in front of us. That's all right. Safe. Not using blinkers. Safety first. Gotcha. <laughs> just tell you I am because something about this side of the car increases the horsepower by two really yeah oh it's like the camera adds 10 pounds yeah it's 500 horsepower on this side I'm really 30 pounds lighter I'm, I'm 30 pounds lighter than I look <laughs> <laughs> yeah without a steering wheel and a pedal it doubles the power you should have installed some handlebars yeah a steering wheel just so I can feel yeah. like I'm involved even if it's not connected. Like we're still driving. Like yeah. the driving instructor with a second set of dummy pedals. Yeah, the dummy pedals are good enough. Right, roll into it. Short shifted. Yes, I did. Yeah, let it tack out. Let it tack out to 885. The dash is like this seat. It adds a thousand <laughs> RPMs. They're never that accurate. So if you take it between eight and nine, gotcha. you've got a thousand RPMs of swing. I was actually going over the track, so at the moment that I shifted, I lost traction. Yeah. And yes, short shifting is not my regular forte. No, that's all right. Let me see, 60. Did you still want to? This is 47. We need 46. Is, yeah, 46 is the next one up on the left. Is that a double line? Uh, you can turn on this line, right where the brake is. See oh, the gotcha. next sign? Okay. <laughs> quick yank. Look how quick that comes off. It's longer to put it on, but super easy. That's officially the end of the Civic build. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you tuned in for the episodes. Uh, the episodes served more than one purpose. One was to keep the customer kind of updated to what was going on. And of course was to provide content. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully it not only just shows off some of the things that we can do, but it gives you ideas for things you can do to your own car. Uh, I talk to people that will say they look at some of our pictures and our builds 
and it inspires them to do something to their car and even shops, other shops have reached out to us and said really appreciate your content, I like some of the things that you do, it's give me some ideas to do and pass on to my customers which I mean that's what a lot of it is about too, I mean this is a business, this is you know what we do to make money to take paychecks home and you know put food on the table and power and that kind of thing but to connect with people and make friends and spread you know information and uh, and uh, good ideas and you know all end up connecting from it is fantastic so that car right now as we speak went from here to Miami it got loaded into its own 20 foot container and today is Wednesday, let's see, October 16th. So it's getting loaded onto a ship today. And the island it's going to is Curacao, which is uh, way south of here. It's almost South America. We're super excited. We've enjoyed the build. We've learned a lot. It's been like a learning lesson in so many ways. Time management, budget management, skills, pushing the limits. The owner is going to try and get some video footage of that car on the island and he's going to send me the raw footage and then I will try and put a video together to show you that car in Curacao which would be, you know, it's kind of like the ending and the icing on the cake to see that car where it actually is going to live. So that's perfect. So thanks for watching. I'm John from LHT. George is out there. I have another video to edit and there is more work that way. So thanks for watching and have a great day.